What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about The Grace Year by Kim Leggett. I remember when this book came out because I looked at it and I was like, ooh, interesting. This is The Handmaid's Tale meets Lord of the Flies meets The Village meets The Witch meets Midsommar. Like there are so many tropes going on here, but predominantly it is The Handmaid's Tale meets Lord of the Flies, which I really like Lord of the Flies. Um, I was one of those in school where I was like, I'm gonna have to read Lord of the Flies for class. I'll just go ahead and read it a whole year beforehand. So I was really into the story. It's wild and it's crazy. And I do really love seeing it adapted because there are some things in it that are a little like, uh, Yikes. The Grace here is about this county, and within this county, within this town, um, they have a lot of rules when it comes to regulating women, um, but they believe that when women enter their 16th year, um, they come into their magic, which makes them irresistible, and they'll tempt men away from God and all this crazy stuff. So they round up all of the girls turning 16 in that year, and they send them out into the woods to live alone for a whole year to burn out their magic. But out here in the woods, woods. Um, there's a lot of things going on. There's like things are not quite right. Like this whole place, like maybe it's haunted, maybe something's going on. We don't know. But there's also these men out in the woods that are poaching these girls because they believe if they cut you up and turn you into stew, um, maybe you'll get some of their magic, some of their vitality, some of their youth, some of their life. So these girls are going to have to deal with each other, whatever's going on in this creepy can site that they're in. And also these men who want to cut them up and eat them. Our main character is a girl named Tyranny and she goes into this grace here like wanting freedom. She doesn't want to be a wife. She doesn't really want to go back to the county. She like, she just wants to be herself. And she's like, hey, like, I know wilderness skills. So like things are gonna be fine. Um, very quickly, those girls uh, turn on her and it is just all out anarchy, which is what we love to see if you know Lord of the Flies. I really liked the other girls in the story. I especially really liked Kirsten. And there is an interview with the author, if you listen to the audiobook, which I do recommend, where she talks about Kirsten and she talks about like her choices. She talks about like the reasonings and how she came up with the story. And it was so, so fascinating. And I really love to hear her talk about it. I overall really did like Tyranny's journey, but I will say like I'm only giving this book an A minus and that's because it does drag in the middle. Um, there's a little bit like of a romance in the middle, which wasn't necessarily unexpected, but it did slow the story down. I felt like it kind of took us out of it just a little bit. Um, but the return and like the launching off is like really, really interesting. I love seeing like how these girls change, like what goes on within this camp and like uncovering like what is this magic? Like, what is this madness? Like, is it real? Is it not real? Like, what even is going on here? I would really recommend The Grace here. I think it, you know, definitely hits like my survival story boxes. I really do uh, love those survival stories, but it's such a good adaptation of Lord of the Flies and Handmaid's Tale mixed together. It just felt like really, really cool. I really love to see it. I know that this is getting a film adaptation. I'm not quite sure um, how well that's going to be adapted. I think they might go a little bit too teen dystopian with it, whereas the story just feels like really earthy and really organic. So I guess it'll just kind of depend on how they translate it. But I would definitely recommend picking up The Grace here because it was very chilling, very cool, and the audiobook was just really a great listen. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That is everything I got for today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!